Hello everybody, welcome to The Geek's Handbag, coming to you from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Today I'm going to be looking at Series 3 of the Doctor Who Funko Pops. So in this wave we've got the 10th Doctor with Hand, 11th Doctor Stroke Mr Clever, the 12th Doctor with Guitar, the War Doctor and Super Size Davros. So first up is the 10th Doctor with Hand, he looks good, just give you a quick spin of the box and let's set him free. So, the 10th Doctor in blue suit, and doesn't he look smart? I've always liked the blue suit and red converse combination. Let's give you a twirl. Yeah, he looks nice, and he's got his hand in there, and his fan hand. It's really difficult to see the hand, you have to look really closely. Paint app-wise, not too bad. There's a bit of paint bleed around the tie area and along the cuff of the suit, but otherwise he looks pretty decent. And although we've had a few 10th Doctor variants, this one is a nice one to have. So, the 11th Doctor from the Nightmare that was a Nightmare in Silver. So, just turning it around so you can have a look at the box. Nice little picture on the side. Characters, of course. Let's have a look at the figure itself. So, here he is. And although I'm not a fan of the episode this figure is from, it's quite a nice variant of the 11th Doctor. They've got his little glove and head thing going on, which is from the episode. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's a technical term for that, but I've only ever watched Nightmare in Silver twice, and that was more than enough. So, yeah, he looks pretty good. Obviously, we've got the trademark bow tie and his little chain, and the detailing on it's quite good. Uh, paint apps are okay. There's a bit of messiness going on here with the eye but uh, otherwise he looks pretty good and uh, they've managed to nail Matt Smith's floppy hair so yeah it's quite a nice figure not a fan of Nightmare in Silver but a nice variant to have Next up, it's the War Doctor. Just give you a quick spin of his box. So you've got the caricature on the side. I do like these, and obviously the other figures. Right, let's set him free, not only from his time stream, but from his box. So, the War Doctor figure, and I think he might be my favourite from the new range. He really suits the Funko brand with his spiky hair and weathered face and his little goatee beard. There's some great detailing going on. He's got his scarf and his jacket and his little zip chain. Uh, he also got the Sonic in his hand there as well. The paint apps on this figure are good for a change. You can't see any paint bleeds or mistakes. So yeah, I'm really happy with the War Doctor figure. And riding in on a tank, it's the 12th Doctor with guitar. Right, just give you a quick spin of the box. Obviously the little cartoon character on the side. Okay, let's set him free. So, 12th Doctor with guitar. And you know what? Despite the fact he's wearing the Sonic shades, which I personally cannot stand, I actually do think this is a great variant of the 12th Doctor figure. I'll just give you a quick spin. Uh, I love the fact he's holding his plectrum ready to strike a chord there. So, yeah. I think that is a really nice variant. I'm pretty pleased with him. His head's a little bit loose, uh, but the paint apps are pretty decent. Um, his ring he's wearing there, I notice hasn't got any paint on it. Not sure if it's supposed to be painted or not. But at the end of the day, yep, yeah, it's a cool variant of the 12th Doctor, that one. And I saved the big guy till last. Yes, it's massive Davros. Just give you a quick spin of the box. Right, release the prisoner. Yes, coming in at a whopping six inches, it's Davros, and I really like this figure. I love the character of Davros anyway, so it's great to have a Funko of him. This one based on the design from the new series rather than the classic, and detailing is great. Some nice stuff going on here on his little console. The glove, paint apps wise, very good. Slight smudge mark on his nose, but otherwise looks great. Uh, the head doesn't move. It's static, and as I say, he is a bigger figure than the other Funko, so if I just put the 12th Doctor next to him, you can get an idea of that. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, obviously, he is out of proportion, but then again, Davros is a big personality, so he does deserve a bigger figure, and I think he looks great. So, this may not be the most exciting range of Funko so far, but they all make for nice additions. And although we've already had a lot of variants of the 10th, 11th and 12th Doctor, they do look good. The 12th Doctor in particular with his guitar and sonic shades, although I'm not a fan, does suit the Funko Pop range. But it's Davros and the War Doctor that are by far my favourites in this new wave. The War Doctor looks absolutely brilliant as a pop. And although Davros is out of scale with the rest being a 6 inch super pop, he does look great towering above the rest. So, overall I'm giving Series 3 of the Doctor Who Funko Pops a thumbs up. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this latest wave of Funko Pops and also tell me which Funkos you'd like to see in the future. Personally, I'd love to see some more classic Funkos like can you imagine the 6th or 7th Doctor as a Pop? That would be awesome. Anyway, do check out thegeekshandbag.com for more news and content from me. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter so do say hello on there. As well as that, I do a weekly Doctor Who podcast with Gary called The Big Blue Box Podcast to so give that a listen. And until the next time guys, take care. Bye bye!